Hey guys, welcome back to Satisfactory with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I think it's so cool. Uh, can I hardly wait until I get a gun so I can shoot it? <laughs> but anyways, uh, in this episode, uh, we need to get power. I'm sick and tired of the digging up or running around trying to collect for the biomass. Um, okay. <laughs> Some crazy stuff going on here. But anyways, yes, uh, so in the last episode, we were able to get vehicles and, um, coal generation, or coal generators, so, in a second here, we should see some coal popping up, so we have a bunch behind us, which, obviously, you guys can see I have the tractor sitting, waiting for us, so let's head over to the tractor, and let's head to the location that I want to build our power plant, I'm going to say power plant to begin with, it's probably not going to be a power plant. I've been getting a lot of good comments uh, on the episodes or series so far, um, and a lot of helpful comments too. So thank you so much, you guys, for that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm loving this game so far. It's very addictive. Uh, you know, you'll see later. I'm sure we'll be going back to our main factory, our, our tiny little factory, beginner factory. Um, for some reason, I just continuously keep thinking okay this isn't good enough this is too sloppy like the OCD is just keeps kicking in so hopefully we can build this power plant to the point where I'm not thinking about it all the time how I can make it faster or generate more power <laughs> also this vehicle love it um, I wish the wheelbase was a little more spaced out because then it wouldn't do like really really tight turns kind of like that um, a more gradual turn would be nice but you know what? <clears throat> I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> All right, so I want to take a look at this as we go by here. Need to be a little careful because of that. That's not what I wanted. And just let him run away. We gotta take him down. Hmm. Seems like everything's a little loud. Maybe I have the, the volume in my headphones turned up a little too high. But either way. Okay, it's just one of you guys. Okay, so this is just a normal uh normal seam, I guess. I don't know what to call these, like nodes, seams, deposits, whatever. Uh yeah, doesn't really give me a description on it. I know there's more around here, but this is the one that I think, unless we find a closer one, that'll be the one that we actually work off of to start. I don't know. Uh, oh, I just ran over a bird. Um, but you guys didn't see that. So, <laughs> I know we need to use water. Um, and I think this would be a great place to start or to build a base. Like, it's nice and flat. It's big. Um, space elevator is right there, so we just really need to run the power straight that way. So, uh, yeah, I gotta figure out how to get this started here, but it's really peaceful. But that's a ton of open space. Hmm. Oh, also, I wanted to show you guys something, uh, that I learned that these things actually have a workbench in them. I didn't notice it until I was actually editing. Well, there's a craft bench right here. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of cool that it just comes with it. Instead of you having to create one over and over and over. Okay, so let's go to... Foundations. Now, I just want to take a look over here. Actually, what we should do is look at these water extractors pretty big mm. oh and they don't snap to the world grid well that sucks uh, you know what whatever at least you're away from me <laughs> so maybe this uh, I don't know this might be actually the best spot oh yeah definitely never mind because yeah you can go straight out from here so if we can't use the world grid Oh. Oh, that might be a little... Hmm. 
So that's going to be a little bit of a difficult. Because the world's grid is that way. Straight out, hey? Huh. Now the reason I wanted to jump up here is it's super difficult to see in that water. And so if we go like this, well, this kind of looks like it's snapping to it. Maybe not. No, it's not. Okay, so then I guess does it really matter? Hmm. I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is delete these. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's go like this. That's the world grid. Might have to build out a little bit further. Yeah, let's get out past this... This, uh... Little island here. Oh, no. Because even this would be... Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is plenty of room for us. I'm sure of it. I know that, uh... <laughs> things get pretty big in here, so... You know, as for our starting... Uh, power plant, hopefully this is more than enough room for it. But, uh, yeah, let me get the foundations going for this and I guess our general layout all right so I got some of the foundation set up as you guys can see ran the cross there as before and then just along this uh this cliff side here actually I wonder so so I might have just messed everything up not sure I just want to make sure that we can put a wall back here. Uh, looks like we might have gone a little too close to the wall. Or not. Okay, we can still do it. Perfect. Works for me. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, and then I started setting down the, the coal generators and I was like, uh, we should probably figure out how many we actually need. Or like, I want to overproduce on power here. So... Uh, target is 75 watts. Consumption is 45. Okay, that... Uh... Okay, so this is water. So we need 50 cubic meters. Uh, it, it, uh, what is it? It does, or consumes 45 cubic meters per minute. 75 watts. But what's the... Is that the output of the coal generators? 75 megawatts. Okay, megawatts and then 30 megawatts so two and a half or two and a quarter so i think we have at our base right now we had six or seven biomass generators set up so that's uh 240 or no sorry 280 um uh, no man three times seven 21 200 <laughs> 210 megawatts so we need more than that so if there's 75 here and we have one, two, three, four, five. That's 350. Almost, uh, it's actually a lot more than 350. Uh, well, then let's go with six and leave room for expansion. Right there. Okay. I'm happy with that at the moment. Now, clearly this is for water and that's the coal intake so that's that's kind of a pain in the butt that they do it that way It'd be nice if that was like above this intake or yeah higher up or one of them was higher up either way we'll figure it out so uh now we need to figure out these um oops where was it here Production, water extractors, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't want, it'd be kind of funny just to go straight across, but I don't want to. And actually, we should just set one up. Just so we can look at the numbers on it. Okay, well, apparently it doesn't want to 
Okay, what does it do? It produces 120 uh, cubic meters per minute. Okay, so... 120, and these take e 45, I believe. 45, okay. Uh, so in theory, one of these can almost, almost feed three of those. So, uh, so two. So if we had three of these set up, we'd have room for expansion big time. That is cool. Milky Way Galaxy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so that's what we'll do is we'll get three of these set up. I wonder... It's definitely, we're going to have to go with more of these. I have a feeling that this will come back to and destroy it all. Tear it all down and build everything. Just like everything else. So Or rebuild everything else. So... How big was that? Let's turn it sideways real quick. It's definitely not following the mapping. <laughs> what I want to see is how wide are they so two wide actually three wide so let's go like this and then we'll go like that kind of odd that it sits in the organization pile but Where's the ladder? There it is. Okay. So, from up here, we should be able to... Uh, production. See this properly? I kind of like it like that. Oh, I could see this being super dirty. Hopefully, can I just hold control? Perfect. Yes, I can. And now that one's getting in the way. Okay, let me uh, get these set up properly. Um, not sure how I'm going to do it properly, but... Actually, if we go like this... And then just out of curiosity, can we go like this with the water extractor? Hold control. Might have no choice here. And the reason being is... Um, I'm, try I'm using the outlet on that, or one of them. Yeah, that's still hitting the... Oh, you know what? We just don't have the rotors. Ah, oh, man. Hopefully I brought some. But knowing my luck, I probably didn't. I didn't. I thought we had more than enough. Um, okay, maybe... I built six for a reason. But we have to go back to the base anyway, so while we're running back to the base, we can run power, right? So let's get everything else set up. Yeah, we'll get 10 back. And how many does this require? 10. They're one for one in me here. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with that. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, from there... We need to run some pipes now, and... I don't know the pipes system at all. So these are the pipes. Pipe junction can be attached to pipelines to split to 3k. Uh, can be attached to a pipe uh, to apply a lift. Okay, we don't need to do lift. Pipe support, okay, and this so you know what 
Honestly. There. 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 What? Really? Another one of those ones? So I take it. Anyways, I'm going to get this set up, you guys. <laughs> I promise. I'll get all the piping run. And then, or from this side, when I hook those guys up, I'll show you. Or I'll bring you guys back for that. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so I've gotten some of the pipe set up here. So I moved it all along. It looks kind of nice. Uh, I tried to make it straight. <laughs> but yes, uh, the reason that I was, I guess, I didn't have to push these back out into the water like I did. Um, I'm not mad at it, because we know that that's all we're getting there. Uh, the reason, uh, that I couldn't attach the pipe, which it, it's a little weird, um, but it'll make sense in a second here. So, if I go and I grab the pipe here, um, maybe it won't make sense. So if you can't see it, it just automatically wants to go around. But if you go like that and up and over... It automatically it connects properly so that's more or less the issue there's got to be stuff that's in the water here right like enemies yeah i just said jump a couple of times <laughs> but anyways um overall it hasn't been too difficult to get this done i actually haven't been watching our resources either our power for our our factory stopped a long time ago so, there's nothing getting produced over there, which is fine with me at the moment. I just want to get this done. I want power, man. I want tons and tons of power. So, mm, I don't know if that's proper. I don't know if it really matters to me. <laughs> um, what I want to do is that. So, I'll just run the coal conveyor belt. In right over top here. <clears throat> Will that work though? Ooh. I don't really like that, but I think I can actually. There we go. That's awesome. I'll have to do it over there too. Anyways. Mm... Yeah, because I need to do splitters on all of those. Hmm. I wonder. Mer splitter. Okay. So I have to remove all of this. Well, not hopefully all of it. Just these ones in the middle. Let's see. Splitter. Oh, it's even higher than... Okay. So there. So it's three high. Now can I get rid of these? And... Can I get a conveyor belt in there? Uh, MK1s will probably be fine. See now the splitter's trying... Oh, because I didn't line it up properly. Hmm... Okay, there. One, two, three. And that. So that. I don't know if you can put a conveyor belt in there. No, you can't. Hmm. Wouldn't be difficult to put it out over there and bring it in. Yeah, we could do that. I love how it just automatically snaps. Like the top part. So then we got have that. Conveyor belt. And to be honest, like, I know with everything else, we should be trying to be as efficient as possible, power efficient as possible. Um, but with 
like the power like getting coal here i don't think it really matters to me whether or not the the conveyor belt backs up or not um did anybody look to see how much coal we needed because i didn't <laughs> okay i'm gonna assume we have more than enough but Okay, so let's take a look at this. How much coal does it need? It does not tell me. So water, yeah. Or it, no, that's fluid storage. Insert fuel. Okay, let's see if we grab a little coal from this. Will it tell us how much coal it needs? Or maybe, you know, crazy thought, maybe it doesn't matter? It, it's gonna matter. <laughs> okay, so let's go like that. 15 coal per minute, okay. Perfect. So. <clears throat> one, two. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Did I not make six? Oh, no. Yeah, we couldn't. We had to get rid of one. So five times 15, 25, you know, 75 full per minute. Nice and easy. And I think we have a normal, that node we were looking at, or mine or whatever. I think it said it was normal. So if it's normal, it should be... I think 16. <clears throat> okay, anyways. Uh, I like what we got set up here. What I want to do, though, is I... Clearly, we need to get... It. Two things set up here. So, what we need to do is... Um, not foundations anymore. Okay, so I think we'll have to fire this up first, get the water going first, so that, because I, I don't know how much water, how long it takes this to fill up with water, because I'm guessing it doesn't create any power until it has full water. But, while we're here, let's scan, maybe there's a coal a little bit closer. Does not look like it. What is this? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was this not... Yeah, maybe not. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Hopefully we can deal with that later. Okay, so this is the one I want to start with at least. So let's build a miner. I know this isn't going to look nice. Whatever, that'll work for now. Don't judge me on my building. <laughs> I think that'll start everything. Now, um, let's go back to this mine really quickly. I said it was normal. And I think normal only does 60, right? 60 resources. So we'll actually be... Um, 15 short. a long ways 60 parts per minute okay um let's just see real quickly if there's a, another close one by like we know the one that's right behind us here but okay so there's two over there i wonder if these two are both normal it might be might make more sense for us to
<laughs> so that's done. So normal and normal. Yeah, it might make more sense for us to actually build our mine over here. Uh, or the two miners. And we can probably send it down... Yeah, this is definitely where we're gonna... We're gonna build. We're gonna change it up a little bit. I think that's better. Okay, so now that we have the two mines going, uh, that'll be 120. Yep, like I said, but room for expansion, right? Why is... Um, okay, so let's get this going and see how fast... Yeah, that's spinning up. Kind of loud. Oh. Are you serious? That's cool. There's animations on this. I should have figured that out, but that's really cool. So... We go over here to this guy. Oh, okay. So now we're filling that up at 7.3. It's not very fast to fill. Hmm. We're going to have to get rid of these uh, foundations here. Uh, just trickling in. So... Too much. <laughs> All right, uh, how much water? 9.8. Like, all we need is the very first cold generator to kick on, and then we can start running power to all the rest of them. Let's see. Okay, this guy's full, so let's start running power out to our first... Um... So, hopefully, hey, okay. we didn't trip the breaker, so I'm. <laughs> That's a huge plus. Actually, this belt can only handle a hundred and what is it? Um, I think a hundred and twenty or sixty. 60 resources, and we're going to be doing 120, so. Better go faster. I love how they've made it so it's easy to upgrade stuff in here, too. Oh, and I'm out of plates. Do I have some in the truck? I kind of put a little bit of everything in the truck, because I just didn't know what I was going to need. But I didn't put any of those plates in here. Okay, interesting. Oh, it just started to go flow by. So, what I want to do is... Oh, whatever. From there to here, it's got to slow down just a little bit. Sorry, okay, so the sidewalls are different sizes, and same with the plate, the plate, or the... Um, the conveyor belt is different. Look at how it runs into each other. And this is just 60 at the moment. So we should see this one turn on first. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, 105 capacity. Water's holding good. So, now, if I'm as good as I think I am, which I'm not, <laughs> uh, let's go like this. Now, 
No, can't do that because it's gonna get in the way. Whatever, this first one might be a little messy. So if we go to... Okay, there we go. Now everything should be able to spin up. What I want to see is, okay, here we go. Well, that's fluctuating quite a bit. Why is that stuttering, though? Is it because we're running out of coal? We are. Okay. So these ones are kicking on and off, as you guys can see. So what I can do, because we need to get higher belt speed up here, so we gotta run back to our base. Um, and I think I think we're actually gonna take the walk because we'll actually run power lines. So, so it was these last two that. So those are the last two. What about this one? How's this one doing before coal? Just barely getting it in time. This one has some, so it's gonna take a while. They're gonna fill up, but we we definitely need to get some belts over here, I think. So what's the first one at? It already has a hundred coal in it. Maybe we don't. 43, 44, 43. Yeah, so it's not getting, it's just, this one's staying right on par. Hopefully we can see from, or grab it from up there. I'm so excited, you guys. It's like, you know, Christmas morning, you're like, yes, don't have to worry about this anymore. Like, and this actually wasn't as bad as I was, I was really anticipating it being even worse than what it is. Um, but it was actually fairly easy to set up the... Hmm. Oh. So those last two up the back are definitely going to have... They'll be starving for more coal, so we definitely need to fire up this other miner. Or Derek. And... Hmm. Do we do it? No, because it's 60, right? 60 per... Yeah. So it's just going to max out the belt. Okay. What about... Uh, okay, it looks like the... So yellow means that... They're sitting there idle, not doing anything, and then they're kicking back on. So it must be fine with water. Yep. So I just want to remember, there's five here, and they all require 15 coal. Yeah, 15 coal per minute. So... Where's all our coal? in theory, we should be making more than enough. There it is. There's the double stacked. Yeah, so each should be good. 
And then this makes 120 meters cubed per. To be honest, I think we're good. We can just go the whole way now. So everything seems to be working all right at the moment. Like, I just got these ones going uh, just a second ago. So, uh, sorry, I was looking up. So there's already coal. It says no connection, but that is correct. So I'm going to wait just a couple minutes. Um, but we should be making just enough coal to actually satisfy everything. Like, this first one is completely full. Like, look at that. So I think at the, now at this point, we're just... It's gonna get to that... Uh, we just need to wait for these to back up. These are constantly running now, I believe. Oh, maybe not. They will be as soon as... Uh, as soon as I turn on all of the, the power... Or the coal generators, they will be. <laughs> but anyways, that's eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's interesting that that first one's smokestack is different than the rest. Like, it's textured. But anyways, uh, at 15 apiece, it's 120 coal per minute. Uh, we are producing 120 coal per minute, so... And we're transporting it at a 120 coal per minute, so we'll just wait. Actually, I don't even have to really wait. Um, too long, I don't think. I could probably... This one only has 10. This one has 13, which is really weird, but interesting. So, how much are we producing? We're consuming 70. We're producing 600 megawatts. Um, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know if... Like, coal definitely probably made a difference, but... I guess it's... Whatever. We'll use it for what it is, because we get to walk away and just ignore it now. So, I'm just gonna go like that. Clean this up a little bit as we back out. Am I happy with it? Not 100%, but I'm happy that we have... Uh, energy that we can probably just start forgetting about. And honestly, there's a lot of noise here. A lot of sound effects. <laughs> so, what I was going to say is, honestly, with these, if we can keep this going constantly, no problem, which it kind of looks like it is, when we come back to actually build, I'll probably just leave this running and I'll just fill that all up. But like, eh, six or seven times that amount in there? I don't know. But yeah, we'll build a lot, a lot larger factory. That second one burnt out, huh? It's interesting how, you know, you produce enough, you supply enough, but it still seems to not work out. Like when the, ma the math should work, right? 120 from those two, down the belt at 120. Split it one, two, three, well, eight times, and it still should be everybody should be getting what they need, but whatever. We do have two other uh, available mines here, too, right? So, ooh, which, um, hmm, now I'm thinking about it. Moment of truth, you guys. So, uh, so something's turning on and turning off. Probably the water uh, production, 600. Oh, it's just where I'm holding. No. 600, 525, 600. Mm, so it's got to be the uh, the coal mines turning on and off. That's what I would assume. But anyways, uh, let's just do it. From here. Trip the breaker. Oh, okay. So as soon as we connected it to everything else being off, interesting. Okay, you know I was complaining there, and I I feel so bad for it now because like 
our consumption is one third of what we're making. <laughs> okay, so coal was definitely worth it. And obviously with everything else on the line, you can see that it f almost flatlined our, or unless the, actually production is 600, so maybe it's finally got enough um, coal. That's, that's really weird, but potentially. That's what we should have done, um, is ran the mines until all of those coal generators were completely full before we actually turned it on. That's what we should have done. But anyways, actually, I really like that. Now that it's flatlined, the consumption is up and down, which uh, doesn't matter to me. Ooh, as you guys can see, this is a spaghetti mess. We need to fix this. We need to change things. But as you guys can see, I did make it... Uh, let's see. Can I just make a watchtower really quickly? Sure. I should have turned it, but... Cool, you can jump up this? Didn't think you could. But as you guys can see, I did change everything. So from my mines out there, I put it onto a single uh, a single conveyor belt, which is 120. With these four mines, it's 120 parts going onto it anyways. <laughs> then they come up onto this platform now. And then, what is it? Rods into screws. Uh, obviously more rods, plates, plates, and then more screws over here. So... It looks like we're still, we're right, uh, we're producing a little too much. I think we're off by five, and I was really thinking about this, and I think I'm gonna do it right now. Is I am going to disconnect you. Don't think there's anything in here, and I want to make sure. Okay, I'm actually quite surprised that worked out so well. At least now, it doesn't go to waste, right? And it, um, we had a lot of extra iron sitting there. But at least, yeah, this should flatline our power consumption, or a little bit. Yeah, as you guys can see, see? We poured a lot in there, but now there's just a little bit at a time. And we already have one coupon. But yeah, I'm just going to let it run that way. Uh, might as well. And everything up here we can get rid of. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.